several people have asked me how I created the particular look of this animated music video, so I thought I'd do a little behind-the-scenes look at, at how it is that I created it. In short, every image, every picture in it is hand-drawn with pencil on paper. Then I use a pen to get the bold lines and ultimately acrylic paints to paint in the colors. And here's an image of a mouth closed and a mouth open for this clown guy. And I created a bunch of knockdown doll characters. Those are those stuffed figures that sit on a shelf. You throw a ball, knock them down to win a prize. And I just I created them all with a template so that the size and shape would be consistent throughout. And then let my imagination run wild to come up with a pirate and an elephant and a monkey and a green-faced guy with a pair of binoculars and just whatever I thought up. Then there's a furry outline because the, these knockdown dolls have uh, fur around them. So I created uh, the outline a couple of times so I could replicate it on each of the figures. And some other objects, uh, tickets and a trophy. And... and then here are the various poses that make up the motion of the guy who hits what's called a high striker. That's the guy that brings the mallet down, hits the pad that sends the little thing up to hit the bell. So here's the eight or ten images that make up his movement. And originally I was going to shoot these with a camera in the stop motion technique, but I realized that that would actually lower the resolution from what I could get instead by doing what I did, uh, scanning in every drawing at 300 dpi and then bringing those scanned images into the video editing software and creating the motion there. I was sequencing them and, and creating the, the motion. And then the, the high striker itself, you get a side view of the where the mallet comes down, hits the surface that pivots, up goes the little metal piece, and it rings the bell, and the bell shakes because it's ringing. It's and then there's these things, if you go to an amusement park or a tourist trap, you'll have these big wooden cutout things where you can stick your face through a hole, and there's a character painted there, and you get your picture taken as appearing to be a cowboy or a spaceman with jet power and so forth. And I did also a thing with a jester who juggles. You want me to play your fool. This is the guy who falls through and lands in the water. And then there's the fish. Here's three different uh, images of the same fish. I drew it and I traced it twice and made minimal movements. The eyes, the fin, move a little bit. So when you put them in sequence back and forth, the three images create the movement and you can swim him across the screen. And then here's the muscle man who ultimately ends up with my face in there. And you've got arrows. These are some water droplets that I move them to make a splash when he falls into the water. And then there's the uh, boxing glove and all these other creatures and characters and objects. And so that's what that's the process in a nutshell is that you draw a bunch of pictures and then you scan them in and sequence them to create the movement in the computer. And I was real pleased with the results. I had fun doing it. It takes a while, but uh, I'm glad people have been enjoying it. So I was happy to answer the questions people had asked me. And so this is how it was done.